Hi, and welcome to the 10 square meter workshop. I'm Mike, and today I want to talk to you about CNC machines, their care and feeding. After this... So, you just bought yourself a shiny new CNC machine. Where should it live? The obvious answer is in the workshop. That's what I expected to do. But think about it. A CNC machine is not like other machines you may have. They need you to operate them. A saw table needs you to feed the wood through it. A CNC, once set up, does not need you to be there. It will do its own thing until it is finished. Also, they're quite noisy. And no matter how good the extraction, there will be some dust. Do you want to wear ear protectors and a face mask while it runs? Or are you going to be banished from the workshop until it is finished? Another thing. You will have brought the largest one you think can fit which means it is probably a bit larger than you have space for. Add an enclosure to solve the dust problem and it's even bigger. Some solve this problem by making it fold away, which means that once the initial enthusiasm has passed, there is a huge barrier to its use. Because of the time it takes to set up, connect, attach dust, extractors, etc, you avoid using it. It's a white elephant. If you're anywhere else it can go, put it there. I put mine in my garage. Remember, it can go up high. Even if you have to stand in a chair to set it up, that only usually takes a few minutes. You can then set it off and leave it to get on with it. So, let us look at how I housed my CNC machine and provided it with the things it needs. The CNC machine is mounted on the back wall of my garage in an enclosure with a Perspex front window. This keeps in the dust and some of the noise. It is a work bee, an open source design that is distributed as a high quality kit by Oosnest. This model is 750 by 1000 mm and it is mounted sideways for good access to the gantry and electronics. It is set higher than a workbench would be at a convenient working height for mounting workpieces. There are side flaps for quick access without opening the enclosure using magnetic seams. The whole front swings up out of the way and is held up by latches. This gives good access to the machine. The power distribution and power supply are mounted on the right hand side. This comes from the other side of the enclosure where the controlling laptop lives. The spoiler board has a matrix of 6mm threaded holes to allow clamping. For most parts, Simple clamps made from 3mm aluminium work well. Dust extraction starts at the shoe. This was made on this machine from ply with bristles from an old paintbrush. It is held on by magnets to allow setting the z-axis. The Rockler hose is suspended by shock cord, then feeds the cyclone system on the right wall. Though the bin is only 6 litres, it holds a surprising amount of dust. As the domestic waste bin is kept in the garage, it is the work of a few seconds to empty it. I used a Henry type vacuum cleaner to begin with, but quickly replaced it with a dedicated system. The vacuum motor that I used was from an old cleaner. You need the type that passes the air through the motor to cool it. If you cannot find one, they are available as spares on eBay. I mounted it in a box that I made just big enough to hold it. This was mounted in a bigger box, spaced off with elastic foam the type you get in packaging. A pipe protrudes from each end for the connecting hoses. The inlet is fed from the cyclone unit. The unit is mounted up high just outside the enclosure. The outlet has a hose leading to the outside world. Very little gets past the cyclone but I do not want any of it in the garage and neither do I want filters to clean or replace. It is very effective and much quieter than a shop vac. The Duet 2 controller on the WorkBee has a Wi-Fi option. This means that the laptop that I use to set up the job can be moved once the machine is working. The program is stored in the machine. I also have a small Wi-Fi camera trained on the work area so that it can be monitored from elsewhere. I can also monitor it from my desktop. Here you can see it with the control program on screen and the camera display on an iPad beneath it. Well, that concludes the installation part of this video. 
do come back for part two where I talk about enhancements I've made.